One head is better than two. Richmond Company founder Frank Livermont was awarded the first patent for interchangeable heads in 1958. Variations on that first concept are still the backbone of interchangeable head design. This video is about two systems that we have engineered to attach wrenches and heads. For more than 50 years, we've continued to make engineering advancements in both heads and the bases to which they're attached. For us, it's all about quality, both yours and ours. For the last 30 years, we have used a set pin and spring in the dovetail to keep the heads in place. They're very easy to attach to the wrench and fast and easy to remove. Simply insert a small flathead screwdriver or our cart tool into the access hole, depress the pin, and slide the head off the wrench. That process is faster than a Formula One pit stop. One of our customers came to us saying they wanted something even faster than that. So we designed a base that required only the use of thumb power to attach and remove the head from the wrench. Sometimes thumbs are a little easier to find than a screwdriver. When buying wrenches and interchangeable heads, some companies give you an alphabet of choices to cover a range of sizes. This strategy results in you buying more wrenches and more heads than is needed. We have manufactured our Exacto line of digital torque wrenches to have both the set pin and spring and the ball bearing and spring style. Our click wrenches use the pin and spring system. All our interchangeable heads fit on all of our wrenches. No matter what size the head, no matter what capacity the wrench, they all fit with each other. You can put our biggest head on our smallest wrench or our smallest head on our biggest wrench. When we designed the new head system, we made sure that every head would fit on every wrench. We would have complete forward and backward compatibility. Our premise was simple. Why make the customer buy two heads when one will do. After all, sometimes one head is better than two.